Housewives turn the table on motorcycle bandits. Two would-be purse snatchers got more than they bargained for when they tried to rob a couple of housewives in Indonesia's South Kalimantan province. The incident went down on March 23rd and was recorded on CCTV. One of the thieves succeeded in grabbing one woman's purse, but unfortunately for the bad guys, their victims weren't about to let them get away. That and the driver really should have practiced his getaway moves before the operation. Good job, ma'am. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Heroes are all around us, and most of them don't wear capes. Good Samaritans rescue teens and baby after a car plunges into river. Two teenagers and a baby boy were rescued from icy water by passersby after their vehicle plunged into a river in Wisconsin on December 23rd. 19-year-old Nicole Stream was driving with 16-year-old Christina Walenzak and her five-month-old son along Apple River when she lost control of the vehicle and veered into the water. Two passersby, Terry and Pamela Bledgen, saw the accident and immediately decided to help. Pamela called the police, while Terry entered the water to try to rescue the victims. He was joined by two others, identified as Thomas Cole and Sean Spafford. The men were able to find Stream and Walenzak in the water, but the baby boy was still submerged in the vehicle. Cole used a pocket knife to cut through the baby's seatbelt. The men then successfully saved the teenagers and the child. The three were treated at a hospital. No one sustained injuries in the crash. Hero tackles machete-wielding robber after smash and grab. Three men are facing jail time for an epic string of armed robberies targeting money transfer and jewelry shops, stopped only by a heroic tackle from a brave shop manager. Alex Parle, Connor Grantland and Thomas O'Connor plundered seven shops in two cities over the course of a year, making off with three quarters of a million dollars worth of expensive jewelry and watches. But their crime spree ended last January, just after robbing a luxury watch outfit in London's Liverpool Street. Surveillance footage shows the trio arriving outside car watches and diamonds, wearing helmets and gloves. Gartland and O'Connor smash their way into the store with a concrete block and sledgehammer, with Powell acting as a lookout outside. As the group escapes on scooter with the stolen watches, an unmarked police car blocks their path, preventing Powell from getting on. The shop's manager gives chase and bravely tackles him before the six foot seven inch robber starts swinging a machete. Powell threatened a plainclothes police officer with his blade before running off. He was arrested not long after. Heroic homeless man rescues hostage but gets shot to death in the process. A violent drama played out on the steps of the Sao Paulo Cathedral in Brazil's largest city last Friday afternoon when a hunted criminal took a woman hostage in an attempt to evade capture by police. 49-year-old Luis Antonio da Silva had just finished 22 years in prison when he once again ran afoul of the cops. After 20 minutes spent praying in the church with this 25-year-old woman, he attempted to use her as a human shield to avoid police. When da Silva exited the church, the woman caught a cop's attention, but da Silva fired at him. At the familiar sound of gunfire, a crowd of pedestrians gather at the scene, showing how inured to violence people in Sao Paulo have become. But out of the gawking crowd, only a 61-year-old homeless man named Francisco Erasmo Rodriguez de Lima took it upon himself to do something. While police held the gunman's attention, de Lima snuck around a parked truck and up the steps. Then, de Lima crept all the way up to the gunman and dove on him, freeing the hostage. It's at this point that perceptions diverge, the men fight, and de Silva and the police both start shooting. In a moment, both men will be dead. Police say that after the old vagrant knocked De Silva onto the ground, the gunman fired several shots into De Lima's chest. Yet others say De Silva missed, and it was a police bullet that killed the brave man. Whichever the case, the last incredible act shown on the video is the indifference of Sao Paulo's police to De Lima as he bleeds to death, alone, in the church doorway. A homeless friend of Francisco Erasmo Rodriguez De Lima said the 61-year-old father of four often stepped up to intervene in fights. He had lived on the streets for 10 years before he died. De Lima was buried north of Sao Paulo following a small ceremony, with his estranged wife and two children in attendance. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. This is eight-year-old Tyler Dewan, and he is a true hero. 
Tyler lost his life in a fire after saving six people. Knowing that Monday was a national holiday, Tyler asked his mom if he could spend Sunday night at his grandfather's trailer home in Penfield, New York. Grandpa's home was a favorite place for Tyler. But at around 4.30 a.m., Tyler awoke to find the trailer filling with smoke. He quickly woke up two of his cousins who were also staying over. Tyler also managed to wake up his grandmother, aunt, and two other adults in the trailer and helped usher them to safety. After rescuing the lives of six people, Tyler discovered that his grandfather and disabled uncle had not yet escaped. He bravely charged back into the burning trailer to rescue them, but he never returned. Firefighters later found three bodies in the trailer and a spokesperson had this to say. There was fire rolling all the length of the trailer over their heads. Uh, they weren't able to get inside. This fire smoldered for a period of time. Most likely the occupants were somewhat overcome with carbon monoxide poisoning and, and toxic gases that are released in fires. That, that's usually what um, causes fire deaths, not necessarily heat. Uh, there was a woman that was burned with second degree burns that was taken to Strong Hospital. Uh, I believe she had also attempted to, uh, to go back in to try and uh, get the other three out. Local residents are hailing Tyler as a hero who gave his life to save his family. Rest in peace, young man. You're a true hero.